Hello everyone, my name is Silver Willow Wing and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new released TV spot for How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World. So this one is supposed to be very very intense. Uh, it's, gonna, it's supposed to be revealing some major things. Um, not plot wise because it is still like a form of trailer so it's not anything DreamWorks doesn't want us to see but still it should be pretty uh, insane. This was given to me by Cookie Plays YT, so quick shout out there, thank you for showing me this little TV spot. It's a minute long, so it's not very long, but we're gonna take a look at it and we're gonna see what it is and then we'll deal with it from there. So you're gonna get my reaction and then my thoughts about it, so let's take a look at it. If we don't find the hidden world, there won't be any dragons left. It's where we belong. Not the only one. Did she just disappear? This is a new kind of enemy. I will destroy everything you love. What are you gonna do about it? Let's go get her. We have one shot at this. You brought a baby to a battle. Oh my god! Oh my god! That ending though! Oh, look at that! Toothless knows how to hug! Wait, there's something I noticed on Toothless face. Look at that. Okay, look at that. So. I know that Truthless always had, well he didn't always have, but he got like wear on him, scars and stuff. But here it looks like, he looks a little bit more roughened up, to me at least. Uh, it might he always, might always have been like this, but I just feel like this war is gonna be pretty intense. Holy Odin in Valhalla. So, oof. Ugh. Yes, so Hiccup, hip, hiccup gonna die. Hiccup gonna die. He's gonna fall to his death, man. Okay, so the scene we saw in the first trailer where Hiccup is holding on to the Light Fury that links up to this. Toothless got tranquilized uh, by the Death Grabber Venom, that Grimmel, Grimmel shot. So Grimmel might die right there actually because Hiccup kicked him off the Light Fury. And if Hiccup is gonna die by falling down, because he was falling down like he was dying, like save Toothless. Not me, save Toothless. But I think that the Light Fury is pretty fast. So she's gonna get Toothless and then she's gonna get Hiccup. Mm, yeah, I think that's quite like Hiccup is not gonna die because we saw him with the beard. Older. Big beard. Very, very sexy. Uh, so he's definitely not gonna die. Of course not. But it's still building some tension and oh my goodness, let me just say the graphics, the freaking animation, the, the entire visual artistry job on this movie looks incredible. So regardless of the plot, if it's gonna be not that great, the visuals are gonna be stunning. They were stunning in the second movie and in the first movie as well, but this one, because we have that hidden world as well, with all the colors and the glow and everything, I think this one is gonna be cre pretty pretty crazy. <laughs> I can't even speak. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty crazy, yeah. It's gonna be insane. That was a lot of information. Uh, so this is an Australian TV spot. They're gonna get the movie already in January. Uh, and USA is gonna get it in February the 22nd. Uh, there's a lot of different release dates, it's kind of confusing, uh, but my goodness, that was intense. So this video is currently unlisted, so you can only see it if you have the link. So I'm gonna put the link in the description, so you can go ahead and check it out for yourself and if you want to watch it. That is really, really insane. Um, so yeah, the Grimmel is controlling the dragons with the death uh, grip of Venom, in case you were wondering why he was riding the Light Fury. Why would he do this? Because he can control them. If he 
puts like a smaller dose, not a big dose, a smaller dose, he can control them like mind control, similar to what the alpha does. And the larger dose kills them. I think it goes like mind control, knockout, death. I think that's how you could do it, depending on the dose, the size of the dose uh, of the death grip of venom. And it's very interesting because I don't think Gremel has control of any dragons. I think he just uses the Death Gripper Venoms to subdue even the Death Grippers themselves. Um, Death Gripper. Because um, I don't think he knows how to train dragons. He just, you know, he was he's smart, he's intelligent, so he uses that Venom against them. I think so, at least. Um, there was a clue to that in one of the books that are not released yet. There was some material there. There's still a lot of things we don't know. We know possibly the overall plot. We know how it's gonna pay out. I mean, most of us does. A lot, some of us does. I do because I saw the spoilers. Uh, but there's still a lot that the, the way to that, the path to that, um, is still unclear. And the movie is still gonna be visually stunning uh, and very incredible and just crazy. But Toothless and Hiccup is definitely gonna split up. They're gonna split up, yeah. It's, I, that's pretty much been confirmed at this point, that they're gonna split up. But I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Because I was very skeptical before, I know that. But now when I think about it, this movie is kinder a message to... Um, the current state of the world, or the state of the human's nature uh, in total. Because we see wars, we see people killing each other out there in the world, and we think, I would never do that. I would want that to stop. I want world peace. I want that. Most people have that notion, but there's always gonna be humans that are destructive. Us as a species are destructive. So Grimmel symbolizes the human in its brute nature that wants to destroy and kill other species and just take everything for himself. What we are doing right now with pollution, poaching, tearing down the rainforest, all that kind of stuff. So this movie is kind of a message to that. Imagine if you had the last dinosaur alive. You had a dinosaur pet, you had a baby raptor, and it was the last dinosaur to be alive. You had that as a pet. So even though your family would protect that dinosaur with all their might, the other people of the world, scientists, military, they would want to get that freaking raptor off your hands and they will probably succeed in the end. They will take it, they would experiment on it, they would research it, maybe weaponize it, whatever. Uh, stuff like that. Even if it was a, an, an undead bird or anything. Even if it was a dragon. So. The, the sense is that Hiccup has to hide Toothless. He has to remove him from the known world because then no one can get to him. Because as long as Toothless is with Vikings, is with humans, he will be in danger because humans as a species are destructive by nature. It's been proven again that there's been war in all of the films. There's been war in the entire... There's war in the world. So in a sense, the movie is a political statement in that sense, or just a statement on the world in general, because it makes kind of sense. But then it gives birth to the question, is a long life of hiding better than a short life filled with adventure and the people you love? That's the question. Would you rather have a short life with your best friend, but at least you would be, be together, or a long life where you have to be apart. Why is it important to have a long life when you could have a short life that is worth so much more than just a long life of hiding? That's the question. I mean, Truthless does get the light fury and becomes king and whatnot, but still, it, it, it does raise questions in both directions. But I'm not gonna say any more than that. I just feel like the movie is having an interesting look at it. It depends on your perspective on the movie and I'm really excited about seeing it, the whole thing, and then you know really forming an opinion about it because right now I'm just rambling. Thank you so much for sticking through that. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed this clip. This is really really amazing, uh, very very nice. Really looking forward to the movie. We're gonna get it very soon. That's pretty insane. It's almost here. So I'm really excited for it. 
uh, leave a comment anything you have to say you're excited did you cry did you feel anything when you watched this because that was intense for me and thank you so much feel free to check out my other how to train your dragon the hidden world videos if you have the time i have a few on my channel i'm sure you will like some of them and feel free to leave suggestions anything i love reading your comments leave a like if you enjoyed consider subscribing for more dragon adventures and i'll see you next time so long dragon riders <laughs>